Hey. The beat go off? Hey. Hey. I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. I heard he So, the demigod glitch has resurfaced. And I'm going to try it out for y'all. And I'm going to let y'all know if, if I think it's really worth for y'all to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to show y'all how to do it on Xbox One. Because we already got people that's done it on PS4. But nobody has showed y'all how to do it on Xbox One. But it's pretty much the same method. Uh, but I'm going to shout out to uh, the Jump Shot Plug. Because this is where I seen it first a long time ago. And I already did say nothing on it. And I seen it recently from Dan Dan, bro. He's got like a good amount of views. So, I figured, you know what I'm saying? I'll try it on the one. And I'll explain to y'all how this goes. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you're going to go to your attributes, uh, get one of the cheapest ones. You don't got to buy it. Then go to your BC, hover over it, go to network settings on Xbox One, go offline for a quick second, and then you're going to go back online, you know. So it's going to be real quick. It's fast. It's easy. Then you go back to the game. Just hit B. You know what I'm saying? If you're on PS4, just text connection, you know. Just follow exactly what I've done. If you didn't get it, just go back and watch it, you know what I'm saying? So we going to wait till it load up. You know how 2K be. With the loading screens, as you can see, you can get that message. That means you you going down the right path if you get that message. So, the Demi God glitch. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. It does work. It does work. So y'all can tune in. Y'all can see how it goes. But the downside to it is it only lasts for like one game. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna waste y'all time. Y'all notice I'm a somebody. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It lasts like one game for me. But it could be a solid way to help you, you know, get badges or help you get a little bit of rep or you know maybe get attribute upgrades on a certain player but to me so if you're going to do it at least put the quarters on like 12 minute quarters and get the most out of it you might can get one or two games out of it but then you got to go to the barbershop because you see i loaded up on my 92 overall player because you know this is the player that i want to do it on now keep in mind when you do this the attributes from the player that you were previously on i was on my 70 overall but it's going to change to 67 for some reason i do not know why those attributes are going to be put on this player. So I'm going to have a pretty much a maxed out three-pointer. That player is a shot-creating sharpshooter. And this player is a slashing shot creator. So I'm going to be able to shoot threes, dunk, and be a shot creator on the same player. It's like I'm a triple archetype player. And that's where the demigod part comes in at. But you're only Yo, up, it works the best hey, if you have like you 290 doing? overalls and you do it. 290 overalls, two completely different builds. Like let's say you got a pure sharpshooter and a pure slasher. Everything's pretty much maxed out. That's when it's gonna work the best. You I know think what I'm saying? That's when you're gonna have a demigod really? player. But when you're doing it with a lower overall player, it's not gonna be as good because nothing's really maxed out. Now you're gonna go to the Doc's Barbershop, hey. make sure you purchase the attributes oh, in the cart. This is not a haircut. Baby. Keep it in mind. This is not a haircut. This is your attribute. You have to buy it. And then when you walk out, your attribute will change. And you'll see what I'm saying, what I'm saying. If you to be a true demigod, you should do this with like 290 and above players. Cause then your attributes are gonna be nasty and you're gonna have the badges for a completely different player. And you just imagine a pure slasher and a pure sharpshooter with combined attributes even for one game. For that one game, I would go into the ante up and hop on the 25,000 BC court and destroy people. Now, as you can see, my three-pointer is over, uh, past the white line where it's supposed to be maxed out at. But like I said, the 67, I didn't move any attributes up all the way fully. Now, if things were fully moved up, everything could be maxed out pretty much. And that would be higher than my overall right now that's why you need two dominant players if you got two dominant players your, your attributes gonna be maxed out they're gonna be as high as you can get them and then you'll really have the effect of the demigod build you really have the maximum effect of the demigod build so it does work but is it worth it i mean if you're doing it with the lower overall depending if you want to put it on 12 minute quarters it might be but me personally, it's not all that unless you got like 290 overall players and grinded that out. Now, if you can do that, then you got a, a demi, you got one of the coldest players in the game. And for that one game, like I said, I'd go to the 25,000 VC uh, NEF Corp during high rollers and I'd take advantage of people. That's just what I would do because you'd be pretty much unstoppable. But anyways, man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that sub button, turn those notifications on. Until next time, man, Disky out.